Hello, this is Panico Page, and welcome back to another episode of Cures Expedition 2. We are, well, we've had a very good start. It, now, it's not something I like to sort of um, be blasé about. I, I haven't had this good a start when it comes to having tickets to spend. And, uh, well, I'm feeling rather jovial. I'm feeling pretty good about it all I'm, i'll be the first to admit i have had half a cider tonight that could be the reason why as well but hey ho we're gonna do the thing which i like doing the most and that's a little bit of retail therapy so let's crack on in shall we and see what we have what we don't have and what we need oh we can promote who do we promote hmm there's a lot of ailments isn't there acrophobia angry Hot head, same thing really. Oh, and we're spiritual. I mean, yes. I have to see what's available. Uh, in the meantime, in the meantime, let's go here. I ordered a glass of wine, settling in for a comfortable drink. Uh, who do we have? A Sikh warrior, a street rat, or a cook? That was a cook, by the way. My voice broke. I was so excited. Um, so, well, we've done the cook. Uh, Seek Warrior, uh, combat buff of Gatka, 20% increased damage when using melee weapons, and can still fight with mortally wounded. That's pretty handy, although I don't like to think I, I get down to the point where I actually need to worry about someone being mortally wounded, but hey-ho. But Street Rat, I mean, they're an alcoholic, old Charisse here, um, but steal from locations. That is rather enticing. Let's do that. Let, yeah, we're going to take the Street Rat, why not? Don't you worry, I won't steal anything you'll miss. Awesome, that's what we like. Sh uh, Charisse Valiant. Or is that Valent? It'd be Valiant, wouldn't it? Uh, Join the trek with a lopsided grin. Though her skill set had been honed in an urban environment, I was certain that she would adapt and prove useful. Well, I guess we'll find out. I haven't really played around with Street Rat before, so that is pretty, pretty cool. So, what do we need now? We need hand and body. Hand, body, and well, something for the old donkey. So uh, let's uh, let's go to Lux Labs. What can we buy from you? Again, we can do this whole doubling up on these. It, I mean, it's, it's a lot of tickets, though. It's 15 tickets straight away. I want to try and equip as many people with items as we can. So probably not you. Now, what's the toy she got? Uh, we've got the butterfly swords. They're, again, they're pretty expensive. Now that's 16 all in all. No oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, what about you, Avalon? A hiking stick. <laughs> when it comes to the hiking stick, I'm in two minds about it. Simply because, although it's rubbish in combat, you do get that move cost buff, which is good, seeing as you will mostly be moving over grasslands and drylands. Uh, however... We could have a razor sharp curved Indian sword. I mean, what's that? 10 to 8 to 5 to 5. Nothing for the donkey, mind. Uh, let's, um. I mean. 8. Let's just go back a second. Let's go back. Uh, we're going to just pop back and have a look at these swords. See, they're 10, but you do get 2. So. Hmm. Is that better? I mean, they hit pretty hard. Only 15, I suppose. You could argue with that one. Uh, let's uh, just go back. I'm, I'm divering, aren't I? I do apologise. A uh, quick look at you. Three and five. See, I'm not a big fan of bleeds. I prefer the more sort of sudden kills. <laughs> I suppose it's the best way to put it. I like them to die quickly. No, no. No long bleeds for me. No, no, no. So... <laughs> Let's go back to Taishi. Right, we are going to... Oh, not to you. We're going to go to you and buy you. Plus five sanity from combat. Plus five sanity from combat. I mean... Could buy the Tal War as well. We need, we need two, don't we? You and you. Do I... I can't do that anyway. I can't do the other one without taking a, a hit. 
on the being electric uh, electrocuted. Sweet Santi for combat and max health. Ooh, I'm gonna be sensible. I'm gonna be sensible. Okay, so let us. Well, first let's promote you. Awesome. Uh, we will give you the sword. Seems seems fitting, you know. Ta well, I suppose a, a Taoist monk would they be? Would they be, you know, angry enough to to do that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're not going to give the street rat anything because they haven't proved themselves yet. So that will do on that, I suppose. Uh, da -da -da -da. Put everything here. I think that's it. I mean, we could look at upgrading something. What can we upgrade? We could do the chronometer. It's only a two percent increase. Uh, could the pistol up and get an extra set of die? Max sanity, not too fussed by. Extra die and a little bit of a boost on the sensor. Oh, that's a shame because that would have been a good one. Uh, all right, well let's let's put the pistol up. Oh, look at that! It's all gone all electrocuty. Does that mean it shoots electric bullets? Let's go find out. All right, so what do we do? Mapping stone? Circles of standing stones are room to lead the way to a mysterious lost treasure. Uh, 68 with 2. 83 with 3. Yeah, both enjoy islands. Let's do trials. It's not a big step up as far as the tickets are concerned. So I think we'll be all right with, this, with trials. And uh, we are going to hit up rank 11, rank 10, rank 8. Tai Chi, let's go. I decided to indulge in a few drinks the night before the expedition was to depart. I was enjoying a pleasant evening in the tavern when I noticed a rather large, gentle lady cheering. She held her hand up victoriously. The woman had just won an arm wrestling contest and was searching for her next opponent. After a moment, her eyes met mine. Making her way to my table, the large lady called me out, as they say. She was willing to put down money that I could not beat her in an arm wrestling match. Feisty. Ooh, that's 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 not good. We're not very good on red die. Oh lordy, we'll have to we'll have to do something like that next time around. I couldn't spare that much money just now and asked to reschedule the arm wrestling offer. The gentle lady scoffed, shaking her head in disappointment. I finished my drink quietly, and the rest of the evening passed without incident. After a time, I made my way upstairs to get what sleep I could before setting out the following morning. And you know what? I'm not one to have to prove myself. It's With a, uh, a gentle lady, as they put it, although she didn't sound too gentle, uh, I pulled close to the island, meeting up with my supply vessel. I wonder what the Taishi Kami had in before me. Well, medikits are relatively cheap. Uh, we'll go for one of those. You never know. Uh, chocolate or whiskey? Chocolate or whiskey? Uh, I think whiskey is probably better. And don't we have an alcoholic on the team? We do. I think we we'll have to give her some whiskey. Three. And a couple of torches leaves me with five. Six. Of course it's six. Uh, what about... Uh, Hmm, well, I suppose we better take a Vigor Tonic, or Vigor Tonic, since we're running low on reds. And, uh, well, let's take some water. That'll do. Scientists from the Taishi Academy had noticed strange magnetic disturbances on this island. I was to make, or take even, measurements from several key points to gather data for analysis. Where are we going, friend? Straight up, works for me. Straight up. One... Two. Two. Okay, okay. There, there's a definite route there. So we're heading in this direction. I mean, we could go straight up, I suppose. Well, then again, we would miss out whatever's around here. So let's go this way. It's relatively cheap as well because of being on the beach. Oh, and a little bit of dry land. And there was nothing there anyway. All right, well, let's go through uh, this bit here. Oh. Well, look at you. Um, and a question mark over there.
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, approach Monolith. The monolith towered above me, its glossy surface unlike anything I had seen before. It was as if the Dark Island Fog had been captured in solid shape. As I laid my hand on the surface of the monolith, a shock coursed through my body. Images of the island flashed before my eyes too fast to take in. Places I had been and places I had not. My mind scrabbled for purchase in the flood, and slowly I forced myself to focus on an image of a single place. As I said, I've had a drink. Leave me alone. Uh, we're going to come to here. Uh, just because... Oh! If we didn't... Oh. Well, that's a desert storm. Uh, if we hadn't, we would have missed it. And uh, there was no coming back from here, so let's hit the shrine up. We're done. A large building loomed before me. The structure was slightly tilted and subsiding. The ground seemed as if it could open into a gaping chasm at any moment. Inside was a small damp chamber. A long hallway led to the altar room ahead. I took a breath, keeping an eye out for traps. What we got? Green? There's plenty of chances with the green. I don't think there's, there's a point of wasting that. Oh, maybe there was. That's all right. That's all right. Beneath some debris, I discovered a hidden trap door in the floor. Opening it, I saw a second gloomy chamber beneath the hole. I lowered myself into the hole, landing lightly on my feet in the hidden area below. The space below the entry chamber was damp and mossy. I felt earth beneath my feet, and I could hear water dripping quietly. Several odd mushrooms sprouted in one corner. Oh, what be you? Oh, my favorite mushroom. And, uh... Keen eye as well. You know what? We've got space. Let's take it all. And, uh, well, let's crack onto the altar chamber. We carefully entered a well preserved for ceremonial chamber. Pictographs on the altar warned that a great chasm would open up beneath the shrine if the treasure here were disturbed. Oh, no. Oh, it's worth it. Look at all that gold. We've got a golden llama and a silver vase. Party. We grabbed what we could and dashed outside as the ground disappeared behind us. We would need to hurry to avoid being devoured by the giant chasm that was beginning to form. That's all right. I mean, got between a hole and a, a desert storm. Not the best, but not the worst. You dare spread. You dare spread. Hmm. Okay. Okay. There's no getting past that desert storm without taking a beating, and we could end up anywhere, so that's probably killed this unknown location off. However, how the bloody hell do you get in there? It's sealed. Unless you're going from the top. We're going to have to go in that direction anyway, so that's not so bad. What are you? Ye oldie cure all. That's all right. We don't need that one now. Right, so let's uh, let's get rid of these mental afflictions, eh? Um, right. So what do we have? Scared of heights. Yes. Alcoholic. And Doctor Henry Lob, hot head. Well, we're gonna cure the street rat of the alcoholism. Awesome. And we will use up the second one. And who's more important at this point? Probably scared of heights, as I do like to climb lots of hills. So let's let's cure Huang Lei. Uh, shaken by a foul taste, he fell in some sort of trance for several hours. He's fine. He's fine. Right, let's um move on. Thirteen or fourteen? Oh, for the sake of going in that direction. We're dum dum natives. As soon as they laid eyes on my group, the islanders began a strange chant. Wow. Their smiles made it clear that they expected one of us to join in. Oh, okay. I will chant. Blue? I mean, who looks like they're a good singer? It's got it's gotta be it's gotta be Lob, hasn't it? Look at him. He is dapper with that hat. He deserves to be on stage. Go for it, Lobo. Hey! Voice of an angel, I tell you. Voice of an angel. Does Henry Lobb prove to be more than capable? Soon the whole group was dancing and chanting. A strange ritual indeed. Beautiful. Look at them go. Ah, oh, don't don't stop there. Uh, right, so ask about the tribe. Ask for food. Give a gift. Uh, we can't really give anything, can we? I mean, we could give them some mushrooms. 
Let's give a gift. Have a mushroom. Two mushrooms? I like the mushrooms. Anticipating further contact with these people, I offered a gift. They accepted it gladly, surprise and warmth showing on their faces. The group of women, or proud group of women, wish me luck on my travels. Their strong voices ringing out in the wilderness. There we go. That's how you please the ladies. Bit of singing. Right, so. I set up my surveying equipment, carefully measuring the lay of the land. Only one more site remained until my notes were complete. Cool. Right, so we're going to go up south now. Up, up south? Uh, up north is what I meant to say. Um, let's go to there. Yes, yeah, so we can get in. Do we want to, though? I'm ready for promotion. Uh, let's drink a whiskey. Oh, we got away with it. Two whiskeys. Three whiskeys. Hey, alcoholic, you bastard. Okay, right, so. Um, we can risk it to the desert. That's two-thirds of our sanity gone, and we're going to have to take a hit after that. Or we can just go and see what these are up here. I think it's probably safer if we do this. We're still relatively young into this, so a hunt master. The tower is indeed disappearing. I don't quite know what to do. I don't think we're gonna get there in time for that one. It's a bit of a shame. Um he, he's not gonna have anything for me, is he? I encountered a hunter's cabin out in that trackless wilderness. It seemed that its owner preferred a solitary existence out among the wildlife, although it has caught something. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what it's got to trade. Snakeskin, meat, a panther pelt. But what would you take? I mean, what what is an elixir worth for you? Five. Five. Okay, I'll put it in the way. What can we nick? Oh, whatever we want. Whatever we want. Cherise Valent flashed a grin and revealed that she, what she had taken. I had to admire her skill. It seemed that the theft had gone unnoticed. Shells? Shells? What are they? They're not even worth anything. It's ten. It's worth ten. I mean, I could take the giant snake skin, I suppose. Or do we take the meat? We play it sensible. If I was to give you that and all those, are those worth anything? No. Um, could I have your meat? 15. Grr, she not happy. Uh, I think that'll do. I mean, I've got to cook it myself, but that'll do. That will do. Keeps us topped up. Do I have anything I can actually trade with the um, tradesman? Only a medikit, really, and some torches. Uh, what if we went around? Uh, let's go and see what this is. A cave, you say? I peered into a small tunnel. From where I stood, I could see nothing but the darkness inside. Uh, no, this is what we've got torches for. Let's use it. Ah, fine, fine. I should have more confidence in myself, really. Taking care of the dark, I managed to find a path without further problems. At the end of the cave, I found a beautiful grotto with an astonishing variety of mushrooms. Oh, we like these mushrooms. Oh, no. Blech. Take them all. Why not? Take them all. All right. Well, in which case, we might as well go back to the trader now. He might have some food. Hello, trader. To my surprise, I encountered a colorfully dressed traveling merchant. He was bowed beneath or bowed beneath a heavy pack, which cheerfully greeted me with a wave. Ooey. Ooey. Hmm. You know what? Let's not pee him off straight away. Let's see what he's got first. Uh, ooh, a rope.
Or we could have some moonshine. It's not the best. Hmm. I don't think we're going to get close to anything else. That's anything. These aren't worth a lot. We've got 60 there. We could probably get 78. Don't we? Mm. I'm going to argue moonshine is more important right now. Let's get rid of these. That's 35. Then after that... Uh, we could we could have the rope. One less moonshine. That'll do. Why not? Anything to save sanity at this point. So let's uh, pop that onto our street rat. And then, I mean, we're not doing the best. We're definitely not going to get to that shrine in time. So we might as well just head towards the end oh are we stuck oh no that was me pressing that up okay are we good are we good are we good we're good i mean do i so just head there 45 let's see let's see if there's anything else in the vicinity oh stop 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 hmm Eleven to maybe get there in time. Let's do it. Go on. Oh, you bugger! All right, back we go. <laughs> it's my fault. Covered in tar. Lovely. We might be able to steal something from the village. That's fine. Oh, look, we are covered in tar. A group of natives have gathered and were eyeing Gen G suspiciously. I soon realised that they were unused to men, and his presence was making them fearful. Oh. The natives seemed distrustful, but remained polite. All right, cool. Uh, let's uh, trade first. A woman from the village opened a small woven box, revealing the village's trade goods. Ooh, we have a vulture. Okay. A large scavenger bird known to be a sign of inevitable <laughs> doom. Hmm. Cute. A uh, lodestone. Mm, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, teeth. Okay, we can't take them with us. And cocoa leaves. I mean, at this point, just to help with sounds a little, we have one of those. Uh, we're not going to need you, I suppose, either. How many of these can we have? Four. Four will get us back, I feel. Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll steal. Hooray! We're great thieves. And what she got now? Two horn flutes. I say okay. The natives were quiet as we left. Oh no. Alright, so. Is that enough to get there? Oh, we got away with one. Never mind. Let's call it quits. Huzzah. Instead of my surveying equipment, carefully measuring the lay of the land, my work here was complete. Cool. Cool. So, not too shabby. I mean, it's not the best payoff ever. Obviously, we had the boost from uh, Victoria mailing on the first expedition anyway. Uh, but at this point, it's just a case of making sure we get back in one piece. Oh, we've got... Sandalwood bracelet protects against ill look and evil influences. We come across a lot of those. Low Santi rest threshold of 20. Zero Santi event chance per step minus 50. That is good. I don't think we'll be able to buy it. Guess we'll see. Oh, yes, you as well. Good reputation. Starting reputation of plus two, which is awesome. Heavy carrier. We've got a donkey, so I don't think we need that right now. And stealth. You know what? Good reputation can't harm as i returned to paris a rather suspicious looking gentleman approached me he told me that he had excellent bargains on equipment deals you won't believe for a limited time only all right after explaining where to find his shop he quietly slunk away surely i would be a fool to not at least see what he had to offer yes 
Yes, we would, but let's do that next time around. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I shall catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.